Okay, guys, this is my um, second and last Family Dollar Haul. All because I did want to get, to get this Sun Triple Clean laundry detergent because it was 135 lo 34 loads for five bucks, and we had that dollar coupon, making it 390. It was really 495. The, with the dollar coupon, it made it 395 for 134 loads, which is a great deal. Also, I picked up the large Charmin for five dollars and twenty-five cents because it made no sense to buy the six roll for four dollars. Um, I find that ridiculous. But I bought the Daisy once again, the Daisy Gillette for three dollars and ninety cents because we had the three dollar digital. The Gillette Center two was five dollars. We had a three dollar digital for that. The CoverGirl was four dollars. We have a three dollar digital for that for the eye makeup because those are eyebrow pencils and the crust toothpaste is three dollars we had a two dollar digital now i buy these four items the razors the cover girl eye makeup and the crust because of the high value of the coupons makes the rest of my items um out of pocket low since i only had a dollar off on the detergent and the toilet paper the five off of 25 took off of all of these items, which made them basically free. And so what I really wanted was detergent and the toilet paper. That's basically what I paid for. And here's my receipt. And the coupon took off, I'm sorry, all of the coupons came off. And when you purchase, you have the cashier scan all of your items, punch in your telephone number, and all of the digitals will come off at the same time. And yes, Lady T, she gave me a challenge to use paper coupons. I've already done that. That was a disaster. I don't want to do it again. And in some areas, I've been where the paper coupon does work because I've seen people do it with the 5 off of 25. In my area, it does not work. Also, we were talking about some Walgreens. I'm going to answer some questions. Um, if you do the Gillette deal and your register reward doesn't print out, then, um, and you tried on a different account and your register reward print out, didn't print out, it might be the store. One of my stores, the register rewards don't print out. I don't know what's going on with the stores. The one that I used to film at all of the time, which is my favorite because I love the people, the register rewards stopped printing so I stop going to that store and I go to the one that I go to now which is in the lower income bracket area that is why I cannot use internet printables I find out different areas especially the low middle class and the low income areas they will not take the internet printables which I use a lot of internet printables but I'm learning how to work around that at Walgreens and it's easier if we all use digital coupons but I have learned, like today, I went to a Walgreens in my area because I'm trying to do the beauty deal. And I used the internet printable coupons for the CoverGirl Queen line because that whole line is on clearance. My coupons adjusted down. Believe it or not, Walgreens adjusted those coupons down. So I didn't get it because I was wondering why I was paying. I had never seen that before. At this store, the coupon adjusted down. Then I tried to do the Gillette deal because they had the Gillette deal on clearance. The same razors I purchased in another area in Chicago, which was a higher income bracket area where they don't even look at the coupons. They just scan them. They don't care. And the registry rewards printed out. That is how where I get all of my paper Catalinas, the spend 25, get 7,000 points. I tend to go to the higher income bracket areas when I Uber, and they just print out every transaction I do, no matter how many transactions I do, and if I use the same card, just print out, they just print out after every transaction. So every area is coded different, I think. the If you belong to the lower income areas and the middle income areas, in my experience, they tend to give us less stuff if you live 
close by those areas, even if you're not low income or middle low income or middle class, they certain areas don't give you good deals. Certain areas don't give you the deals. Walgreens has made it difficult. So what I tend to do now is I go to different areas so I can get the better stuff and the better deals. Just like now I'm going to go back and get the razor, the rest of the razor deals. I'm going to go back to the store where I got that deal where the registry rewards printed out on the clearance items. Because in my area, the registry rewards is not printing out on the clearance items. And I live in a um, upper middle class area and they're not letting the registry rewards print out. But if I go down the street to where the houses are a half a million dollars and up, the registry rewards print out. Walgreens is you're going to have to shop around people at the different stores and see exactly what happens at each store in Walgreens because I'm having problems doing that beauty deal. I'm not going to use the digitals for the shampoo because my out of pocket is so high. And when I do the deals with the cover girl with the clearance makeup now, my coupon, my internet printable coupons are adjusting down. That is just my experience. So it's going to take me a minute to put that good deal together. But anyway, this is my family dollar deal. And I thought this was a great deal because of the size of the laundry detergent. Even though that's not the laundry detergent of choice, if you can't afford it for $8 and I'm sorry, yes, $8 and 10 cents before tax, you get 12 rolls of toilet paper and 134 rolls of I'm sorry, 134 loads of laundry detergent and everything else is a bonus plus toothpaste. But thank you so much for watching and listening to my ramble about Walgreens because I'm upset because my beauty deal, I went to three different stores and it did not work out. But I'm going to go back to the store where they have the, where I got the razors from and do the deal there. I should have no problem. Thank you guys so much for watching. Till later on today. Peace out.